Swine flu cases on the rise and now a warning over hospital infections. Medics concerned that a second wave of swine flu hitting Britain could lead to a rise in MRSA infections. A team of health experts said a swine flu pandemic would see a rise in hospital admissions and run the risk of a rise in MRSA. The MRSA Working Group, together with National Concern for Healthcare Infection and the Patients Association, calling for the early discharge of patients from hospital to try and prevent a rise in the killer superbug. The group has written to all NHS hospital staff, reminding them to review their policy for the early discharge of MRSA patients. They also urge hospitals not to let increasing pressure on staff and rising bed occupancy rates during winter to reverse the good work they have done to date to reduce MRSA rates. Last week, the government's chief medical adviser, Sir Liam Donaldson, confirmed that swine flu cases are again on the increase. The numbers hospitalised has also hit record highs, enough to warrant some concern, admits Sir Liam. The government, though, is ahead of schedule with its vaccination programme, Inoculation of the most at-risk categories commencing this week. A spokesman for the NHS has denied a link between an increase in bed occupancy and an increase in MRSA, claiming that hospitals are prepared should the virus lead to more admissions. Some healthcare experts, though, hoping that alongside the NHS's winter plans, controlling MRSA remains a priority.